All right, let's take a peek at them. Press them. Break them open. Take a look on the inside. They're hot. They're hot and they're fluffy. Hey guys, what's up? Nick Williams. We're right here today on the Mobile Tensaw Delta. Uh, late September. Uh, teal season's over. Come out here today, actually do a little bit of squirrel hunting. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take a second before we get back off in the woods and start chasing them. We're going to make us a little breakfast. Uh, this is something I love doing. I love baking hot biscuits uh, for myself, for my wife, for my friends. Anytime I take new hunters. Uh, if y'all watched my teal season videos, y'all seen that biscuit cooker a couple times on the Galano hunt, open day of teal season. Uh, this is something I figured out a few years ago. A lot of people have been impressed with it. I've had some people ask for more details about it, so I'm going to sit here today and I'm going to show you how you can sit here with just this little tool kit I got and you can make hot, fresh, fluffy, perfectly baked biscuits. Right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to start with your biscuits. These are the Pillsbury Grands. These are Southern Home Style uh, buttermilk. I don't like the, the flaky ones. But you can use whatever, any any type type biscuit. Don't have to be Pillsbury. You can do an off brand. I have found trying them uh, that the buttermilk ones, for whatever reason, they fluff up the best. I, and I just you take that for what it is. Um, you know, I've tried the butter tasting ones, and they're they're fine too. Sometimes I get what I can get, but I like the buttermilk ones. That's what we're cooking today. This is a five count uh, container. They also make an eight eight just barely fits in this cooker um five is good you know if you got two guys that's, that's plenty of biscuits if you're duck hunting that's you know two two for you two for your buddy and one for your dog uh eight is good i've fed three four guys with a pack of eight biscuits that works uh this is the most important thing this is the cooker all right this is a super made m-a-i-d super made uh fish poacher slash omelet maker uh, it's aluminum. You can see it's just two pans. It hinges open and this is what lets you cook the biscuits And you're gonna flip them so that they cooked on both sides. All right to my knowledge. These are not in production um, I had to find this on eBay um, And they go anywhere from 20 to like $80 just depending on which exact one you get and the condition that they're in uh, But that's 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 been a handy little tool definitely worth the money um, the other thing is I went through several different burners before I found one that I liked. All right. And what I prefer to cook on, this is, is just a very simple, I think it's a Coleman brand, but that don't really matter. It's a butane burner. It's got a big stove eye on it. All right. And it runs off of butane. It's, uh, it's got a built-in ignition system, which is kind of handy. And that, that open burner uh, instead of focusing all your heat you know just right there directly in the center of the pan it spreads it and it just lets you get a more even bake okay that's going to be the name of the game here is you want to do it you know low heat even uh, and that way you don't have you know biscuits that's burning in the middle and not cooked you know on the outside edges all right this is your gas canister uh, one thing of butane it'll it you get a lot of cooks out of it um, I went through, I had a bottle that was maybe a little over half full when I started teal season. And it got me through most of that two weeks and we hunted pretty much every day. Um, so we're going to start the cooking process. You're going to take your butane bottle, pop it in your stove. Uh, I always store my butane bottle separate uh, with the cap that comes on it attached. Because I found that if you leave it in the stove... Uh, it's got this little lever that's supposed to engage it. See, like now the butane is not flowing. You lock it in place and now it's flowing. And you're supposed to be able to disconnect it. And then your butane, you know, if something happens and that knob twists, you don't waste your butane. But what I have found is that sometimes if that, if, if your little container for your stove, you know, if you, if you tilt it the wrong way, uh, I've had a nasty surprise where you get where you're going 
and somehow you know that little nozzle on the end of your butane got triggered and you're out of butane so i store it separate but when you're ready to cook put your butane stove in lock it into place now if it's windy something else i like about this little stove is carrying case you can use this open it up you can use it as a windshield all right and that's going to be real handy because you're going to be cooking on low and it don't take much wind you blow your stove out you'll be sitting there thinking you're cooking biscuits and you're just wasting time and wasting gas all right so we're gonna take these biscuits we're gonna pop them open and uh you gotta be careful these buttermilk and something about them they, they got more juice but say like that when you're supposed to tap them <laughs> And for whatever reason, the buttermilk ones, especially if they get a little warm, they'll just pop open. And I've had biscuits go flying out the boat. All right. But you're just going to take them biscuits, and you're just going to put them in. And I used to go through the trouble of oiling the cooker, and, and I, I don't anymore. It, they don't really stick. All right. That's five biscuits. You can see five fits in there pretty loose. Eight, you're going to have to cram them in there. All right. The other thing you're going to need when you're cooking your biscuits is you're going to need a phone because you're going to have to set a timer. And what I do is I go ahead, I'm going to set a one-minute timer on my phone. This is the secret to cooking biscuits is you want a one-minute timer. So we're going to turn the stove on. You can see we got gas. We're going to back it all the way off. Till it's just barely on we're gonna put that on there we're gonna start a one minute timer okay and basically what we're gonna do how we're cooking these biscuits is we're gonna run this one minute timer and we're gonna flip them every minute okay and about five six minutes into it i'll start checking them just barely crack it and what you're looking for is you want to start seeing them get toasted when they're browned up how you like them we're gonna shut the heat off we're going to let them just cook for 10 minutes, just carry over cook, okay? The flipping and the carry over cooking is key. If you don't flip them every minute, if you try to cook them, you know, and it, and it takes maybe 8 to 10 minutes to cook them, depending on temperature and how much wind there is and other factors, if you just kind of got to play it by ear. But, you know, say you're going to cook them 10 minutes. Well, if you cook them 10 minutes and you cook them 5 minutes on one side, 5 minutes on the other side, they're going to be burnt black on the outside you got to flip them so just to show you guys what we're starting to look like we five or six minutes into the cooking all right we're gonna take them off take a look at them all right they starting to brown up but i like mine a little browner than that so we're gonna let them keep cooking all right so we're eight minutes into it let's show you what they look like them's getting about perfect all right so what we're gonna do we're going to just set them there. We're going to turn the heat off. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to disengage my gas and take my gas out, set it to the side. All right. We're just going to leave them. We're going to set about a 10 minute timer. All right, let's take a peek at them. That's them. Break them open, take a look on the inside. <clears throat> they're hot. They're hot and they're fluffy. Steam coming off of them. That's it. That's all there is to it. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good.